Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about this foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. And the reason why I'm actually coming to you guys today is because I've been thinking about wanting to do a video that talks about the foundations I use for my oily skin and my sensitive skin, especially since I get a lot of comments on my skin videos and my other reviews for foundation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link all the skin videos I have done here talking about my skin history and what happened to me and why I have crazy skin and I also am going to link um, the two foundations that I've already done for oily skin so definitely check those out and um, it'll make more sense when I discuss all three foundations in the video that is coming up in the near future so anyway back to this foundation I actually don't remember the price or the shade that I'm in for this but I will be sure to put the, put that on the screen here somewhere I will hunt it down and put it on the screen I will also have all the details in the description box so anyway back to the foundation I got this because I needed a foundation that had no SPF for flash photography for nighttime when I go out and I need to take pictures I didn't want to have that white cast face so being the fact that my skin is very 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 sensitive some of you guys might already know that and the fact that um, my skin is extremely oily it just secretes oil like crazy I really needed something mattifying and something with heavy coverage especially since I have a lot of acne scars well now they're sort of faded but I had a lot of acne scars and I needed something that would cover that so I went to the store and picked this up because I'd heard good things about it I got a sample first and then I got this and I love it love it love it love it another foundation oops another foundation that I am endorsing here yes this is a yay for me when I picked it up I was like this is so tiny it's 1.01 fluid ounces and I was like really that's that's all you're gonna give me I want to say it was like 42 bucks. I was like, really? But I have had this for like a year and a half, guys. One year and a half, and it is still going strong. I still feel product under there, so I a little goes a long way. That just tells you. And every time I apply my makeup in the evening, this is what I use. Just because it has no SPF. Because then there's no sun, and there's no point for me to, you know put anything else so anyway I'm gonna show you guys the application over here it goes on very satiny and velvety the name is true the consistency is not liquidy and it's not cakey it's just kind of in the middle it has like a like a satiny feel and I do not use brushes with this this is another thing that I'm gonna bring up in my other video I use my fingers with this one I try different mediums of applying it I tried brushes and I tried sponges, but because of the consistency of this, I find that you waste product if you use anything else, and it might tend to be a little streaky, so I would recommend using your fingers for this. I know it's a little bit messy, but I'd rather not waste product and I want it to look good. You might also notice that the shade that I have here might be a little lighter on my skin over here, but that's only because it's the summertime and I got darker from the sun. So I know that eventually I'm going to go back to that shade and also when I rub it in and I really blend it in, put my powder, put my setting spray, I'm good to go. Now, speaking of setting spray, uh, in terms of longevity, bleh, in terms of longevity and how long this foundation lasts, I would give it about five to six hours. So that's really not that long. I've noticed that when I do use it in the morning, it's and maybe it's like yeah it probably lasts five hours five to six hours on its own and then I start to see my scars reappear and that's how I know the foundation is fading now I don't know where foundation goes because I'm not touching my face I don't know if you guys ever thought about that I don't know where my foundation goes but all I know is after a while my face starts showing scars so what I do is I use a setting spray with all my makeup and I use the Urban Decay D Slick. I used to use the All Nighter, but since I found the D Slick for oily skin, I decided to use that. And what I do is I spray the D Slick before and after I apply this, and then I'm good to go. Good to go, and it actually lasts me all day, literally. So that definitely helps to extend the time that I wear my makeup. So it's great. And I do have oily skin. I am not oily when I use this so in terms of oily skin wise this is very very good but I also use products in my skincare regimen that are catered to oily skin so I don't know if it's a combination of those two but all I know is I absolutely love this um, just apply it with your fingers use a setting spray to make it last longer if you're using it during the day because I don't really use it during the day I use it at night 
and you'll be good to go. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, check out the other videos of the other two foundations if you want to know more about those. The links will be in the bottom and there are different price points. I have a drugstore one and another higher end one so you can definitely take your pick. And I will be talking about all three of them. When I review stuff um, and I use the products and continue to use them, there are a couple of things that I do discover about certain foundations and little things that I missed when I reviewed stuff. So that's pretty much what that video is going to be about. So you guys look out for that. That's pretty much it. I wanted to keep it short and simple. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any more questions, let me know in the bottom. Give me your opinion if you've used this foundation. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.